Here is a puzzle that I found on Mensa Mumbai's puzzle group on WhatsApp. And the puzzle is asking us to find the shaded area in this figure. So let us first understand what is that shaded area, how we got that in the first place. So they have started with a square here and the dimension of that square is 15 by 15. And then each side is divided in the ratio 5 is to 10 or 1 is to 2. And all such points are then connected to their opposite vertices. So from here to here, here, here and here. And uh, these four lines together form a central square whose area is to be found. So if you want to do this puzzle on your own, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, we can go ahead and see how to solve this. Okay, so now let us decide the strategy of solving this puzzle. There could be several ways of doing that, but uh, let's follow this. So we know everything about the outer square, right? Its side is 15, so we know its area. So if we can find the area of this white space, then we can find the area of this inner square. So that's going to be our strategy. So what is this white space? What it is made up of? It is made up of four triangles like this, and they're all identical, and they are rotated, and they're surrounding uh, the central figure. So if we can find the area of one such triangle, then we'll get the area of the entire white space, and thereby the area of the inner square. For that, we need to find some dimensions. So let's do some construction. Let's extend the sides of this square like this. And if we copy one such side, right? so let's copy this side over here. Now we have a set of three parallel lines. And any line that intersects such an array is called a transversal. So if one transversal is getting intersected in some ratio, say 5 is to 10 or 1 is to 2 here, then all such transversals, whatever might be their direction or inclination, they will also be getting intersected in the same ratio. So if x is the side of the square, then even this inclined line will be divided into ratio 1 is to 2. So this side here must be x by 2. Let us now consider this triangle over here, whose sides are 5 and 15, and it's a right angle triangle. Let's copy it over here for convenience. Then we'll consider another triangle like this here. It is also a right angle triangle. We know one of its sides. Let's copy that too over here. So we know this side. Now both these triangles have one angle in common and both are right angle triangles. So they're going to be similar. So if these sides are one is to three, even this will be one is to three. So we know this side will be three X upon two. So we can find the area of this triangle now. So it will be half x by 2 into 3x by 2. That gives us 3x square upon 8. And there are four such triangles. So let's multiply this by 4. And that gives us the area of the white space. Of course, we are getting it in terms of an unknown x. But that's still good enough. Because we know the area of even this square in terms of the same unknown. Its side is x. So its area is going to be x squared. So now we have both the areas, the area of the white space and area that we are looking for. So we can simply add them together. So 3x squared upon 2 plus x squared. That gives us 5 upon 2 times x squared. And the total area here is the area of the outer square, which is 15 squared or 225. So it's just a matter of simplifying. So we divide this by 5, we get 45 multiplied by 2 we get x square or the area here as 90. So that's our answer, 90 square units. Let us now see if there is some other way of solving this problem. Of course, as I said initially, there is there are so many ways of doing this puzzle, but we are going to go to the other extreme and we are going to use you know tedious math, okay, maybe trigonometry over here. So maybe we can start by uh, you know, looking at this triangle, opposite side is 5 and uh, adjacent side is 15 of this right angle triangle. So we can find the tan of this angle theta here. We can express the area of this triangle over here as half of the adjacent side, that is 15 cos of theta, and the uh, opposite side, 15 sine of theta. Then from this tan, we can find the cos and uh, sine ratios like this over here. They turn out to be 3 upon root 10 and 1 upon root 10. 
then we can substitute that over here. And for the white space, we are going to have four such triangles. So multiply by four. So this is the area of the entire white space, 135 square units. And then we subtract it from the outer square area, that is 225, to get the green area as 90 units. Uh, well, this is a way of solving this problem, but uh, definitely not the fun way of solving the problem. So I think that's the difference between a puzzle and a math problem. A puzzle always has a clever trick, at least good puzzles. And uh, math problems, I mean, they have all the freedom of using, uh, you know, any tools that you have.